All right, folks, let's dive into the differences between Suzuki's K6A and R06A engines. Now, if you're into Suzuki's mini cars, you'll know these engines have been the backbone of their light vehicles for years. The K6A made its debut in 1994, replacing the older F engine. It was Suzuki's first engine to use a timing chain, which means it's built for durability. No need to worry about replacing that chain anytime soon. The K6A's hallmark is its longevity. It's made entirely of aluminum, making it lightweight and fun to drive, especially at high speeds. It's a short stroke engine, which prioritizes power and response over fuel efficiency. So it's got that punch in mid to high speed revolutions, but it can be a bit thirsty on gas. And if you're into tuning, the K6A is your go-to. It's easy to tweak for higher speeds and more torque. Just think about the Suzuki Cappuccino. That little beast uses the K6A, but not everything's peachy. The K6A has had its share of oil seepage and carbon buildup problems. Now let's shift gears to the R06A engine. This one first showed up in the Suzuki MR wagon and has gradually taken over Suzuki's mini car lineup, including the current Alto. The R06A prioritizes fuel efficiency, low friction, high torque, and ease of use in the city. It's a long stroke, torque type engine, which means it's more about smooth city driving than screaming down the highway. Some might say it lacks high speed power, but it's got torque from the get go, making it great for city driving and reducing those pesky oil issues. The R06A is a water cooled four stroke inline three cylinder engine with a total displacement of 658 cc. Its connecting rod is thinner overall compared to the K6A, which helps reduce friction and improve fuel efficiency. But it's also been simplified to cut costs, which can be a double edged sword. Common issues with the R06A include crankshaft thrust bearing wear due to poor lubrication and high load operations when cold, leading to abnormal noises. There's also the risk of the oil control valve rusting, messing with the VVT and causing the engine warning light to come on. So, to wrap it up, the K6A is your engine if you're looking for high speed thrills and you don't mind a bit of oil maintenance. On the other hand, the R06A is perfect for city driving with better fuel efficiency and fewer oil-related issues. The choice really comes down to what you value more, power and tunability or efficiency and reliability. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more engine insights. Catch you all in the next video.